Hi guys. Well, finally fish finished another one after 80 hours of work. So whether you're here to get some new ideas, hopefully, or if you just want to have a nose with me and go through the journal, feel free. This one is burgundy and dusky pink and some neutrals. And once again, I always make a soft cover now for my journals. Just most of them have ended up in America, so I want to make sure they've got a nice safe trip on their journey. Um, I dyed this crochet, which I think ended up matching the colours perfectly. So we will take her soft cover off. And on the inside of the soft cover, You've got some pockets so that you can put extra things in there if you need to. Even hide it behind the spine if you like. Just move that one out of the way. And here she is, the main event. So tried something different. Um, this frame I made out of polymer clay and then brushed it with gold. Uh, that's polymer clay as well, um, a little cameo mold. I was so excited when I got those moulds. A couple of little embellishments, some very vintage buttons, and lots of um, laces and crochet uh, that I have sourced from different opportunity shops in New Zealand. A little resined flower there. And some more applique. And on the back, you have a brooch and an applique flower and another polymer clay mold there. And I thought I'd done a good job and she was pretty much fitting um, into the spine and then this happened and she got huge. <laughs> so yeah anyway you guys seem to like them that they're huge and stuffed full of lace and stuff so i guess that's okay right just make sure that we're good and centered here okay so if we open her up um first thing that you've got here is um a little magneted belly band snaps nice and tight and then this one opens up just got a little bit of coffee dyed note paper so that you can do some journaling on. And in here you have a genuine old postcard, New Zealand Cambridge Emmanuel College. And it's even got the writing on the back, which I absolutely love. So this is from 1939. I absolutely love this journal. So the amount of work I put in it, it is a bit higher priced than what I would usually put. But I don't mind if this one doesn't sell. I'm absolutely in love with it myself. So that's all right. Uh, and then we just open her up to a little cluster there. And another genuine postcard. Nothing on the back of that one. Um, so unfortunately, can't date it. But that could be, you could use that and replace that. I've made it so that it can come out. And it's got a really nice, and in the colours that we wanted, um, Renaissance kind of painting there. So that's just the front. Do that back up. Um, then over here we have a cluster and some old photographs that I've just cut out in nice traditional shapes and this is an old piece of um, writing paper from someone's school book who take, took music, a um, little dangle there. See, old writing. It says 1843, but pretty sure it's only from maybe 92, but I still thought that was quite cool. 
uh, another little pocket page, a uh, little sticker ticket there, and something to do a little bit of journaling on the back of. Another genuine old postcard, Liverpool Cathedral, South Choir Isle. You can see from the back that they are genuine and real. Another ticket, that one's not a sticker, just for aesthetics. And up here, I thought this was quite cool. This was out of um, my sheet music, and it was just an advertising page. I thought that was really neat, so I've put that one in there. Not a copy, so that's a, another quite a few genuine pieces of ephemera in this one. Um, on here you have a dangle and it's got a little resined piece of gypsophila the leaf on the bottom and some little bells for some ASMR. Turn the page and you have a envelope that I've created and this is an old piece of sheet music. I have not aged this either. This is all genuinely old. It's really fragile paper, so I'll be really careful with it. Uh, the girl I left behind me, down went McGinty on the other side. Just touch the harp gently and hark I hear an angel sing. Some journaling space here and some clusters, butterfly, journaling space, journaling space. Um, this is, I believe this is how uh, we used to photocopy before we had photocopies at schools. So that must be 80s, 90s. Um, raindrops keep falling on my head. I would say that was one of the singing songs at school assembly. It certainly was for us. Um, now, this <laughs> this is cute. Journaling space cluster. But my partner said to me, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you put old money in? And I, I said to him, yeah, it would be, but I don't have any old money. Um, and he went away and half an hour later, after shuffling in the next room, um, he came back with some genuine coins. So I thought, well, why don't we put those in? This one is King George the sixth, and the year is 1951 on that one. That's got a tui on it. That is a New Zealand bird. One of our beautiful birds. It makes such a beautiful sound. So that just slips back in there, and it's got a little coin holder there. Another little dangle with a couple of pieces of gypsophila in there. Just a paper clip dangle. And this is from Vintage um, Heritage Library, I believe. Uh, genuinely old botanical illustrations from genuine books, but um, because they are more than well, these ones are from late 1800s, um, so the copyright has passed and they are in the Creative Commons, something I've been learning about. Another little cluster here with a pocket, little bell and the Tree of Life on there, if you can see that. And this is Journal 4, and I actually forgot to show you that just hidden in here is the number four and you'll probably see a few number fours I'll point them out if I come across them and remember that they're there uh, it just helps me keep track of my journals as well as um, the person knowing it knowing what one theirs is more journaling space more journaling space um, just some hand dyed paper there um, definitely an old measuring tape I haven't aged that one it had the metal um, tab on it and just a little hidden spot in here for a little tiny book I love my miniature things a couple of pages in there 
don't know if you'd actually use it but cute if you do sneak him back in there over the page just a little tuck spot in there and that one flips open that is a genuine New Zealand old photograph I think you can tell by the clothing too that that must have been a while ago as well as the style of photograph that it is more journaling space um, that's the original gel print jelly print that I've done for this journal I copied that and it actually comes out beautiful as a print as well that's what's on the front cover some hand dyed lace another little tuck spot there for you some, this is genuine sheet mus music paper but uh, I did some acrylic paint over it so that if you wanted to you could then journal on top of it just to show you a little bit of detail on there oh, keep missing pages now uh, this one here so I have gotten a couple of prints from Antonio Makes and I'll pop the link down below um, this is he's got some really cool old um, documents and I think it's an ephemera bundle and I've printed it on lunch wrap through my inkjet printer um, and I have put um, printed a rose onto the music paper on the underneath because I just I like the way um, it layers up and over here I quite like this one um, that piece of lace I thought if it was a pocket what you're putting in there might catch on that so uh, I have put some acetate over the top of it and then put another acetate pocket here so if you haven't got anything in it it actually doesn't look like a pocket at all but if you want to stick something in yet there you can so that's just a postcard that you could journal on I've put a little window here with a little bit of Queen Anne's lace um, hand drawn flowers and some old lace that one's got uh, book corners metal book corners for some extra decoration and some filigree I think that's what that's called down there over the page, belly band, and that is an old envelope from 1945 going somewhere in Māori Hill. That's Dunedin, that's the South Island of New Zealand. So, and just you could journal on the back, and that is out of my children's encyclopedia. I recognized these two my grandmother used to have those two hanging up but I've never seen those ones before but this guy matched the colors in my journal so he made his way in there uh, this one here this is another different technique so if you don't put something but white behind it um, you actually can't really see the butterflies but the moment you do put something behind it um, they become really clear. I quite like that. And that one there is a genuine postcard as well. And yes, she's old. I recognise that one too. She had that one and the other one, I think, by Constable with the man with the sheep. And there's a river. Got that one in there. Um, I bought a fabric and it was velvet and it was beautiful and it had beautiful flowers but it also had blue and green and uh, bright pink and lots of colors that didn't suit my journal um, but I just can't help myself from feeling that because it's velvet and it's just so soft obviously you're not going to be able to see that it's velvet if I show you but um, it's really beautiful printed fabric that's the other side of that uh, tissue paper and receipt paper Oh, there's a chapter four. There you go. There's another four. Uh, over here, just a cluster and a resin stamp. Genuine stamp. I don't normally put the um, fake printed stamps in my journals anymore. Another beautiful piece of lace. 
that I've dyed. Another little resin stamp there. This was a contents page from one of my sheet music books. Little paper clip page topper there. And there is a bit of room in there to tuck something if you would like. Over the page. Another little pocket. Another four there. A couple of extra tickets. And this is not a genuine old postcard. This is just um, one that I've bought. And I've done a technique over the top. So that it looks a bit rough. Um, because I don't like the shiny shiny. It's not me. Uh, over here. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen Up, but there's a dog on Up that gets very distracted. Um, it can talk and you should YouTube it because it's quite funny. And he'll be talking slowly and then he'll say squirrel and look in the other direction and be completely distracted. It's very much me. I think a squirrel, as well as the hoarding nuts, might be my spirit animal. Not sure. So here is, um, this is paper where you screw it up and you've got moisturizer on it and you keep screwing it up and you un uncurl it very very carefully and then leave it to dry and it gives that beautiful texture. Um, some more of the measuring tape and in here another little photo. Lampton Key Wellington. That is a genuine photo as well. I have not printed that. I got on Trade Me, which is, I don't know if you guys have that, but that's a site in New Zealand where you can um, pretty much get anything. It's an auction site. Um, and I have found a couple of great sources for old postcards and old photos. So I'm quite happy to put quite a few into my journals, like this page. Here's another one. And the Strand North End, Whakatane. Again, also in New Zealand. And in here, that is another old postcard. I have not printed that. That is a genuine photo. Town Hall and Cathedral, Dunedin. And you've got journaling space on the back. And that is just a piece of beautiful Pippin Press paper. Which... You can use however you like. Another little dangle with a dragonfly on it. And I think I missed a dangle on the last page. The sky with a chess piece on it. some pages with a little bit of interest and some space for some journaling and over here again thank you at Antonio Makes I just coloured some butterflies and I will pop the link below for the receipts and the butterflies if you're interested it's got some beautiful papers and things that you can use and you know I don't chop the threads off my <laughs> journals and my sewing because I just love how um, old it looks and just a little leaf up there and I double side my butterflies and flip them mirror them in um, a photo editor so that when you turn it over you haven't got a blank side and if you don't flip them they don't match because they're not always perfectly symmetrical this is <laughs> my favorite part of the whole journal um, this is the other part, part of the contents page um, and someone has written on here and I love that kind of stuff um, to Mary Josephine from her cousin James Augustine Christmas New Year 1943 to 1944 love that kind of stuff this is why I don't want to give this journal up <laughs> Um, that was an old Vogue pattern. I haven't copied that either. That's genuinely how it came with some instructions on how to make it. <laughs> I had to laugh. It was um, a how to make French slips and panties, also known as scanties. I did not know they were called that. 
some journaling space there with a little cluster and another little resined piece of Queen Anne's lace there. There's a little tuck spot in there for you to put something and that's a really nice stamp that I got that I thought came out really beautifully. Um, this is the paper um, Sashibo, I think, S-A-C-C-I-B-O, um, who does a tutorial on how to make that out of tissue paper, um, well sorry, not tissue paper, napkins and spray starch that you can make at home um, just with coffee, water and corn flour and you'll see an envelope that I've also made out of that um, just here which you'll be able to see the paper better just a little scrappy notebook in there genuine stamps just for a little bit of extra space and you can put whatever you like in the other side of the envelope and there's another that is out of a book um, not copied I thought those um, were beautiful. I, I would say they're etchings and just some extra pages for some journaling there. Uh, see this paper? This is what I learnt how to make through that website and I think it's absolutely stunning and I'm going to make more of that and I love the way it feels. Another old postcard from the promenade Blackpool this one though. And there. Oh, and that is just a, that was gold. If anyone knows me, I can't handle shiny gold in my journals. I'm very much a rustic person. Funny how we get stuck on those things. Uh, so I have rusted that one. And over here, lots of things in here, lots of pockets. A little space for journaling there. This, um, don't ask me what language that is, but it was 1961 and I'm guessing it was a bookmark. If someone could tell me what that says, I'd be really impressed and super interested. And there is also a, so there's a pocket there, pocket there, pocket there, pocket up here, and I did put something in there photo of a little girl. Real photo. And in there, just an encyclopedia page where I found flower. And another journaling card. And you also have a hidden spot at the top. I haven't put anything in there, but if you've got any secrets or secret things that you want, you could pop that in that one. Just a little bit of silk sari fabric gathered and some stenciling there. The journaling space. Uh, this one I printed on vellum, made it out of sheet music paper and turned it into an envelope. I haven't got anything in there currently but that's for you to fill. This is the other side of the instructions of how to make the half slip on the pattern and we are almost there. Last page. So you've got another notebook here. number four with little fabric tags the struggle is real get back in there and over here just a little bit of packaging paper with a resined flower um, and some machine sewing with some cutouts that opens as well. That is a cabinet card that I have made, not out of a genuine photo, that one. And that aged 
because that was a glossy postcard as well so that's not an old postcard either and little window over here with some collage Queen Anne's lace music paper behind it and a couple of things in the pocket illustration from an old book and just a bought postcard of course in the colors of the journal that matches um, that is it I really hope you enjoyed that one I hope you either found some new ideas or I sparked some ideas um, I can't wait to get on to the next one and thank you all so much for sharing all of your videos I love watching those as well. They, they definitely give me ideas. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.